All right, y'all, this is how to skin a beaver, except for I don't know how to skin a beaver. But we're gonna try, it can't be hard. We're gonna start right down here on his bottom foot. Now, a buddy of mine, Richard Harris, just called me and said, you got to eat that beaver. I ate it the other day. I said, man, I eat beaver all the time, too. I mean, it's just like any other wild game. Just His hair is super thick. Look how thick that is. Oh, yeah. Now I got the groove. All right, now I can start back to talking. Anyhow, I said I eat beaver all the time, too. It's sort of gamey. Sometimes it all depends. Some they got to be cleaner than others, but now I'm gonna try to not puncture his guts. Have you ever ate beaver, Mike? Once or twice. Uh, all right. Marcy, have you ever ate beaver like this? I called Robert deer meat and he said he'd ate beaver, so can't be that bad. I think we need to cut his tail off right now because I can see this is getting in the way. Look at that. Now we read on the internet that you can cook it, so we're going to cook that. Now we don't have that flopping around. Leave a comment below if you've ever ate beaver. His hide is, ain't like a deer where it just starts coming off. All right, now we're getting somewhere. The trick is I don't want to poke a hole in it because I want to save it. Part done. It's fatty. Also, leave a comment below if you've ever killed a beaver sitting in a tree stand deer hunting and a beaver just comes swimming by. You think the hide will peel off? It's awful tough. This is the part I don't want to mess up on. I don't want to cut this tendon and him go flying. Nope, he ain't gonna definitely, definitely ain't pulling. Let me start right here. Mmm. That's sort of gross looking right there. Mmm. I don't know if we should show too much of that. <laughs> Like the Merrington's will eat anything now. He's skinning a beaver. He'll eat sand fleas. Alright, come back here. This boy will finish it. Now we got it coming. Now it's just simply peel it off. Mm. 
Mm. Dang, it don't pull none. There's his back straps. Oh. He's sort of broad. Like this sucker's been eating good. Yeah, hold that foot up there for me. muscle looks like it huh mm -hmm. I'm gonna have this hide tanned I'm taking that bad boy to the tannery and having them tanned and there is your perfectly clean beaver. All right, well, there's the beaver tail. There's the beaver hide. And obviously here's the beaver body. I'm leaving the feet on it just in case any of y'all try to call BS tomorrow. He went in there with the deer meat. Jake just got done killing his deer. That's a whole separate video. Hey. We're out of here. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. But like Jake says, we getting out of shape. All right, so right here is one of their big main tunnels where they'll drag their food in. They use some of the trees to build their den and then they eat some of the parts of the branches and the leaves and stuff right here. Let me show you down here. Look at that. And it goes all the way up in there. I know you probably can't see, but that cave goes all up underneath this dike. And what's gonna happen is this dike's gonna blow out. And that's gonna cause serious issues. Look at that, that's a big old hole, ain't it? Yeah, it looks like baby could go in that one too. Yeah. That's crazy. I found another hole. So look at this one. This is insane. This is a really big tree. They've got it whittled all the way around. And look, every I mean the base of every tree is like that. Every one of them. So they'll knock it all down and tote it all over there to their little den. And I take it that's what they eat on. So they take these lily pads, because I could I could see when I was in the den, they take these lily pads and mix it up with mud, and that's sort of like what the paste that they use to waterproof their den from the top. Stuff can't get in them, I guess rain and everything. That's crazy, isn't it, Jake? Yeah, what's all this? That's where the beaver was chewing on it. All right, we're gonna grab a few things. We'll see y'all back in the kitchen. The beaver's been cooking for about two hours now. Time to go put it on the grill and eat it. It's gonna be good. Let's go. That's hot. Come in here a little closer. Look at that. Look how that fat just peels right off. I can already tell y'all this is going to be good. And prior to cooking this, I never would have thought I'd ever eat beaver in my life. Well, I guess I can't really say that, but...